Alright, I got that horrible information on my time machine. That one thing you never want to see. Backup failed. There isn't enough space. So watch here and see what I do to fix this problem. Alright, if you watch my unboxing for an 8 terabyte Seagate drive, here it is. I'm getting ready to plug this guy up into my machine, which is an iMac. You can see that screen. This is for our other channel, Fascinated with Jesus, FWJ. Plugging it in the back, and then I'm going to hook this thing up. The rest of what you're going to see is going to be an on-screen video. I just want to show you this because it's the hard part. You need an open USB port, and you need to plug this guy up, and then you need to put that plug for the USB into, um, hopefully you have a, a USB 3.0 slot. So that's what I'm doing. Now to the screen. All right, folks, and so now you're seeing my screen recording. I'm going to set up my Seagate expansion drive, which is shown up right here. You can see that right there. I'm setting it up so that it's going to be an extension of my, um, my Mac time machine. Now you can see here, there's a start here Mac thing right here. That's if I'm using this just for a Mac drive or whatever, but I'm not. I need to fix my time machine. So I'm not going to actually do anything in here. If you were setting this Seagate up as eight terabytes of extended drive, start here with your Mac, double click this and go through the steps. I'm not gonna do that, I'm leaving it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into my time machine settings, which are right here. So it's got time machine preferences or into my time machine from system preferences. So let me show you from there because that's what you'll know if you're on a Mac. So there's system preferences. Inside of here, now I'm going into the time machine area, which is here, or you can click search and do time machine. It'll tell you, look at that right there, spotlights it. So I'm gonna do time machine. It's taken me in there. Now it says my backup is not current since December 7th. I know. So I'm gonna select another disk and I'm gonna do select disk and it says there are available disks right here. There's time machine. And then see, I just added this Seagate expansion drive. It's named Seagate expansion drive. Be careful what you do here. If you choose the wrong one, you're going to overwrite your other ones. It has eight terabytes of free space. Those only have 1.61. I know those aren't it. So this one only has 502. So I'm going to press use disk. And once it does use disk, it'll say, do you want to do this? Because it's going to replace time machine. Listen, there's no turning back here, folks. Be careful. Go back in, check if you're not sure if you chose the right one. Be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm going to press cancel because I want to show you again and I want to do something else. Here's something I like doing. I'm going to rename this Time Machine 2 because I don't like making mistakes on this stuff. So let's do this. Let's see. Um, da -da -da -da. I'm going to go into my apps and get info. Let's see if I can rename this guy right here. name an extension. It's not gonna let me name it from here. So let's do this way. I'll show you another way you can rename these if you ever need to do this. I'm gonna launch pad. I'm gonna go in here and go all the way over to where the other apps are. Inside of here there's this wonderful thing inside here called Disk Utility. Boom, I'm in Disk Utility. It's gonna take me here. Now I'm going to rename that thing so I don't make a mistake. There's Samsung, it's not that. There's Samsung, it's not that. There's Seagate, and look, it's already named Time Machine. So I know I've done it there. Look here, there's Seagate Expansion Drive. This is Seagate. This is the one I want to rename. So I'm going to rename it Time Machine 2. There it is. Now I won't make that mistake. See, 8 terabytes, boom, there it is. Time Machine 2 is set. I'll let it do its thing. I'm not worried. Get info. Let's do it again, it didn't do it. Boot, disk utility, back in there. Rename, time machine two. All right, I'm going to do a new partition. Oh, you know what, guys? If that doesn't work, I suggest just leaving it. Let's just leave it, and we'll let Time Machine do it. So let's select that disk. We're back in here, Seagate Expansion Drive. Use disks. Replace, nope. 
do you want to stop backing up to Time Machine and use Seagate Expansion Drive instead or back up to both? I'm going to put use both right here. And then I'm going to say, are you sure you want to erase the backup disk? Da da da, erasing on destroy all that information that's on here. I'm going to say erase, and here it goes. It's erasing it right now. Oh. It says there's not enough space on there. That's a whole other issue. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go cancel, and I'm going to go in there and fix that drive. So maybe I have to fix that drive on this one. Something isn't working right. Did not know that. Let me repartition it myself. All right. Here's that Seagate expansion drive. I'm going to erase. I'm going to name it Time Machine 2. This stuff does happen, guys. Journaled. I'm going to do my yep, case sensitive. There we go. Erase. All right. Let's let that thing do its work. Get me my Time Machine 2 back. So there you go. I mean, you guys are getting the benefit, full benefit of this. This is what happens if you have an issue. So now I'm letting it format the whole thing and redo it. Should have just done that before. Um, but I decided that I wanted to make sure it worked right. But you know what? It's done now. Now that's that. Time Machine 2 is here. There it is. Look, renamed. Um, but the hard way. <laughs> that's the hard way. Now I'm going to go select disk. Time Machine 2. Use disk. Use both. There it goes. Boom. Now it's waiting for the first backup, guys. And we have done it. This is success. This is success. We have both in there. It's going to run the second Time Machine. Everything's working and it's all set. I don't even have to worry about it. So I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to let this guy go right here. And there's both my time machines. There they are right here. And it's running and it's going to go backwards and forwards between offloading these two um, backups. So what that means is now I've got 16 total terabytes of backup space for all of my stuff. And everything's running right and I don't have to worry about it. I'll come back in another hour or so and check this. But that's it. That said, you've seen now how to set up Time Machine. Also, how to set up Time Machine on a Seagate drive that has an issue. Also, how to set up a Time Machine with a drive that has an issue with space because it's set up as a PC. I just showed you how to fix all those issues really quickly and still get your Time Machine set up just like that. So with that said, I hope you've learned a lot from this. Thank you for watching Nerd Cheek. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. we got so many more of these video coming, videos coming. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.